Hi, my name is Dennis Smith and I am the Community and Social Media Manager for NetGate. Today, I'm going to walk you through the initial configuration of an SG1100. To get started, log into the web interface by opening up a browser and typing in the default IP address of 192.168.1.1. If you happen to see a connection warning, go ahead and click Advanced and then Proceed. At the sign in page, we're going to enter the default PFSense username of admin and the default password of PFSense. Both of these will be lowercase. And then click sign in. Once you're logged in, you will see the setup wizard. Click next to read the information about NetGate Global Support and then next again to continue the setup. On the general information page, this is where you enter your host name, domain, and DNS servers. For the purpose of our example, we will use the default host name and the default domain and use the Google public DNS servers. Once those are entered, click next to continue. Now we can configure the time server information. Here you will leave the default time server host name and then choose your time zone. For our example, we're going to choose America Chicago and then click next to continue. The next two sections are configuring the WAN and LAN interfaces. For most installs, the default settings can be used, but if you have specific settings that you need to change, you can do that here. For our example, we're going to leave the default on both sections. Click Next to continue. Now you will choose your new admin password. Once you have it entered in both boxes and they match, click Next to continue. Once you click reload, you will save the configuration changes. After a few seconds, you will see a message that the wizard is complete and you can click finish to proceed to the PFSense dashboard where you will see a final notification with copyright information. Once you click accept on that notification, you will continue to the PFSense dashboard. Now that the initial configuration is complete, you can fine tune your PFSense instance. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos from the NetGate team.